Have you ever wondered how a small city-state on the banks of the Tiber River rose to conquer the entire Italian peninsula? It's a question that has fascinated historians and enthusiasts alike for centuries. Welcome to the dawn of Rome, an era marked by the initial expansion of this humble city-state during the 5th and 4th centuries BC. Rome, at this time, was a fascinating blend of social and political structures. The Senate, an assembly of aristocrats, held the reins of power, setting the direction for Rome's future. Then, there were the Roman legions, the backbone of Rome's military might, who would go on to play a pivotal role in Rome's territorial expansion. And let's not forget the influence of Roman religion which seeped into every aspect of society, from politics to warfare, guiding their conquests and shaping their empire. But Rome was not built in a day, and neither was its empire. Let's delve into the journey that led Rome to dominate Italy. Rome's rise to power began with a series of wars against its neighbors. The first major step on Rome's path to dominance was the First Samnite War, fought in the late 5th century BC. The Samnites were a powerful tribal confederation in the mountainous heart of Italy. They controlled a vast territory and had a formidable military. Rome, however, was undeterred. The Romans knew that to expand, they had to control the heartland of Italy. The war was fierce, and the Romans had to employ cunning strategies to overcome the Samnites' superior numbers and home terrain advantage. One such strategy was the use of strategic alliances. Rome was adept at making friends out of former enemies. After each victory, Rome would incorporate the defeated peoples into its growing sphere of influence, offering them protection and benefits in exchange for their loyalty and military support. This strategy not only bolstered Rome's military strength but also created a buffer of friendly territories around it. The Latin War, fought in the early 4th century BC, was another key conflict in Rome's rise to power. The Latins, a group of tribes in central Italy, were once allies of Rome. However, as Rome's power grew, the Latins felt threatened and rebelled. Once again, Rome's military prowess and strategic alliances came into play. The Romans managed to quell the rebellion and absorb the Latin lands into their territory. These wars were not just about territorial expansion, they were also about Rome's strategic positioning. By controlling the heartland of Italy, Rome was able to secure key trade routes, gain access to valuable resources, and establish a strong defensive position against potential invaders. The Romans' victories were not just the result of military might, they were also the result of strategic thinking, diplomatic skill, and a relentless drive for expansion. Rome wasn't just a city with an army, it was a city with a plan. Rome's victories in these wars laid the groundwork for its domination of the Italian peninsula. With each victory Rome's power grew, but it was their unique approach to conquered peoples that truly set the stage for their control over Italy. Rome did not merely subjugate its conquered peoples but rather offered them a stake in the burgeoning empire. They implemented a policy of granting citizenship to those they had defeated. This was a masterstroke, a blend of benevolence and strategy that was largely unheard of in the ancient world. Instead of alienating the conquered, Rome sought to integrate them, turning former foes into allies. This policy not only expanded Rome's population but also its influence and control. But why was this so effective? It's simple. By granting citizenship, Rome gave these diverse peoples a sense of belonging of being part of something larger. They were no longer simply conquered peoples, they were Romans. This fostered a sense of unity and loyalty among the diverse peoples of Italy. With their newfound status, these citizens were more likely to support Rome, to fight for Rome, and even to die for Rome. They shared in Rome's triumphs and in its failures. They were invested in the success of the empire. It was this unique combination of military prowess and diplomatic acumen that allowed Rome to solidify its control over new territories. It was a strategy that would serve them well in their future conquests. Rome's unique blend of military might and diplomatic savvy propelled it to dominance over the Italian peninsula. By the end of the 3rd century BC, Rome had successfully conquered the entire Italian peninsula. This monumental task was achieved through the Romans' relentless expansion efforts, strategic victories in the First Samnite and Latin Wars, and a unique policy that extended citizenship to the conquered. From a small city-state to the master of Italy, Rome's rise to power is a testament to its military prowess, strategic alliances, and inclusive governance. This was just the beginning of what would become one of history's greatest empires.